Raise your hand if Sunday school was something that you remember fondly. Raise your hand if you're now a parent hoping to instill faith in your children. And maybe raise your hand if you haven't found the right place for your whole family to understand God. If you're raising your hand, this one's for you. I know a lot of people see Kids Church as childcare, but we see it as an opportunity to lead our next generation to Christ. And so we do a lot of hands-on activities, games, um, object lessons, science experiments, anything to pique their interest so that they're learning and growing, but they're also having fun because we want them to know that their relationship with Jesus, their faith, their time at church doesn't have to be boring. It can be fun all the time. You see, at Rust City Church, they understand that giving our children a safe and responsive place to learn is a priority. Taylor Irving took a leap of faith to take on the task. I chose to leave my full-time position as an occupational therapist just because I felt God was calling me to this position. Um, I love being at Rest City because it felt like I got to come home um, when I got here. And so now I get to help lead the next generation towards their new possible. So it's a pretty cool gig. Every detail within their classroom space has been designed to encourage learning about life and about God at every age. We pride ourselves on being clean, safe, and fun. And so if we're not doing those things, then they really can't move forward and pay attention and learn. And so we tried to map out the space so that it was safe for them, that they could come in and be comfortable and have fun. And so it's nice and clean for them so they can pay attention and learn and do what they're supposed to do while they're here. Laura Jacob is a mother of three and has been attending and participating in Rust City events from the beginning. We've done a lot of life here. When we came here, I was pregnant with our oldest. So all of our kids have been born into this family. Um, and so it's just become like a really tight knit group of friends and we've just grown to have such a great bond with this place. It's not just a church to us. It's like just part of our everyday life. As her role within the church has grown, so has her children's. And for their son, Maverick, the growth has been remarkable. We have one child who has special needs and they've always made him feel very comfortable. There's been a lot of interventions made and even to the point that, you know, he feels so comfortable participating in a Sunday service. He volunteered to, <laughs> he volunteered a few weeks ago to pray for everyone on the microphone. So he just has been able to really flourish in this environment. They've made him feel very welcome and comfortable. Welcomed and comfortable. That is the goal. And so far, so good at Rust City Church. I am always blown away that I actually get to serve in this position. It's an honor to be able to help teach them and help them grow and make sure that they feel loved and safe when they're here and that they get to experience Jesus in a real way. We strongly believe that our kids don't have a kid-sized Holy Spirit or a kid-sized faith, that they can be at the same level as our adults. And so we try to engage them and educate them and show them what's possible. That just because they're little people doesn't mean that they have little potential, that there's a lot that they can do. There's a lot that they're capable of, so. 